Aphids are insects in the superfamily Aphidoidea, and most commonly in the family Aphididae, which developed 300 million years ago in the Permian period. Aphids are closely related to others in the suborder Sternorinca, of which they belong, such as whiteflies, scale insects, phylloxerans, and psyllids, which use a mouthpart called a stylet to pierce and uptake plant-based food juices, typically the sugar-rich phloem, but sometimes also the dramatically less nutritious xylem water channels, tapping the channels and using passive pressure to shunt the fluids into their bodies. Like many hemiptera, aphids rely on endosymbionts, specifically bacteria, that have formed an integral symbiotic relationship with their host through coevolution, as primary symbionts like Bugnera aphidicola, or from recent colonization, as secondary symbionts like Candidatus rickettsiella viridis, in order to, among other things, process metabolic waste such as glutamate into essential amino acids for the host to survive. These microbes reside in specialized fat cells called bacteriocytes, and their removal or disruption is lethal to the host aphid. Other symbioses they have developed include those with certain ants and other organisms attracted to the highly concentrated sugar waste they produce called honeydew. It is often a substrate for a group of fungi called capnodiales, or sooty molds, which are dark-colored epiphytes that, while not pathogenic to plants, do reduce the photosynthetic capacity of the aphid host plant. Ants in particular, through a behavior called trophobiosis, will receive honeydew and subsequently both defend and facilitate the dispersal of aphid populations but this is context dependent. The attraction of ants by way of phloem loss as aphid food and honeydew in some cases may represent a strong defensive benefit as ants in the proximity of an aphid colony may incidentally or proactively attack other pest species that are directly or indirectly more harmful than the aphids. This three-way food-based symbiosis is referred to as a tritrophic interaction. Hypersymbionts, or symbionts of symbionts, can even bestow an array of defensive capabilities to the host, limiting the effects of population control by parasitoids and even plant host immune response, such as with the P. aphid populations of Hamletonella defensa, containing APSE, a Cirthrocyphum pisum secondary endosymbiont, or PAXS, P. aphid X type symbiont. Other microbes are also present in many aphid species. More than their close relatives, aphids are the most common vectors of plant viruses, and account for 50% of transmission therein. Primarily, this is due to the nature of how their mouthparts function in transmitting virions into plant cells without causing them to become non-viable, and their physiological capacity for telescoping generations often born pregnant and already inoculated with the viruses that can be vertically transmitted or picking them up through feeding. Aphids can even vector some viruses to plants on which they are not hosts, simply through testing the leaf with their stylet through investigative probing. At least 200 species of aphids vector viruses, but this is thought to be an underestimation. There are many aphids both specialized on one or a few related plant species and generalized to a wide array of closely and distantly related plants. About 10% of aphid species have alternate seasonal hosts they rely on to switch between, making them holocyclic. The other 90% are anholocyclic. There are approximately 5,000 species of aphids documented, and they exist on plants the world over, with many polymorphous species that can make identification difficult in addition to variable color forms and not apparently dissimilar populations that may be resistant to certain chemical or biological agents. For this reason, species identification can be challenging in the field, but also cannot convey other cues such as genetic and microbial resistance to treatment. Aphids are globally ubiquitous, and so are their predators and pathogens, as they mostly rely on soft, 
passive defenses such as the attenuation of plant immune response, production of waxy and galling structures, sugary honeydew, and massive amounts of progeny. Combined with dispersal by winged morphs as aeroplankton in the troposphere, in addition to their recruitment of endosymbionts, guard organisms, and exogenous genetic material, that has allowed them to synthesize compounds like red carotenoids, which gives them the extremely unique ability of photoheterotrophy, or the conversion of light into usable cellular energy, similar to plant photosynthesis. Only one other animal can do this, and it is both similarly genetically impressive and an incredibly common pest, the two-spot spider mite Tetranychus urticae. Some species of aphids are susceptible to infection by epiphytic bacteria that occur on the surface of plants, such as Pseudomonas syringae. Some species, like the P. aphid Acethrosiphon pisum, utilize visual cues from the ultraviolet fluorescence of the compound pyoverdi, and it appears that P. aphids have adapted to avoid fluorescent leaves between 350 and 550 nanometers according to one study. These adaptations allow aphid populations to sustain many threats through overwhelming numerical superiority, which is just fine for generalist predators such as lacewings and their nymphs, certain lady beetle species and their larvae, like Hippodamia convergens, as well as larvae of hoverflies, the predatory midge Aphidolides aphidomyza, and even whirligig mites of the family Anistidae. There are many wasp families associated with aphid parasitation, like Aphidiidae, Aphidlinidae, and Braconidae, one notable generalist being Diatiella rapae, and somewhat more species specialized parasitic wasps, like those in the genera Lysiphlobus, Aphilinus, and Aphidius. Also, there are various microbial pathogens, like the fungal pathogen Buveria bassiana and other pathogens that may not be available commercially, such as Ropelocyphum padivirus, but yet still affect the greater local and remote populations ecologically. Important features that identify an aphid include abdominal structures called cornicles, which can either be tubular and long or reduced to porous openings but important defensive secretions are exuded from them, such as wax or volatile compounds, which can signal others. They're also very commonly bulbous and congregate closely together. Being polymorphic, aphids can be many colors and shapes among the same species or between species, but commonly there are adult morphs that are winged, called alates, and the unwinged, or apterae. A female that develops from eggs and founds a colony is a fundatrix, and fundatrices usually produce parthenogenetic clonal progeny, which are known as fundatrogeniae, telescoping generations that are born pregnant. Alate fundatrogeniae may move from the host on which they were born to secondary hosts seasonally. Those females that go on to produce sexually reproducing progeny are called gynoparae, and their egg producing females are oviparae. Oviparae produce eggs which usually overwinter and result in new fundatrices in the spring. In this way, an autumn population overwinters and transitions to its spring and summer hosts if it has any. Aphids can be found in both the phylosphere and the rhizosphere, and a single species may occupy both spaces simultaneously, such as with the rice root aphid Ropelosiphum rufiabdominale. While the shape of these morphs is fundamentally outlined genetically, there are phenomorphs, or forms, of some species which can additionally obscure identification. These phenomorphs are specialized body forms that have been documented as having specific capabilities, like optimization for defense, population growth, host adaptation, and symbiosis. A contentious example used to be the P. aphids red-green color dichotomy. We now know that symbiosis with Candidatus rickettsiella viridis bacteria confers both a green coloration 
due to increased blue-green polycyclic quinone production and antifungal properties. Green populations of the P. aphid are less preferred by lady beetles in some reports, but more preferred by aphidius irvi in choice tests. Uniquely, Candidatus rickettsiella viridis is the only symbiont in P. aphids that exists outside the bacteriocytes existing in the hemolymph and ovaries among other places. When the red-green coloration was thought to be caused by genotype, they were potentially considered phenomorphs. Some species of gall aphids like those in the families Pemphigenae and Hormaphidinae are even considered social and produce soldier and gall repair forms that confer a fitness benefit to a colony population. Aphid terminology is complicated and prone to change because the factors that influence aphid morphology are varied and conceptualizing them as words with specificity helpful for scientific pursuits is arduous.